Right then, welcome back. And today, well today we're gonna do a track guide for the Suzuka GP circuit. Now, there's three, three layouts, Suzuka, there's the GP, the Moto GP, and then there's the East circuit. We will do them one by one, but we're gonna concentrate on the GP. There's the setup I used for the ZX7RR ideas and endurance race there, 20 minutes, and it works quite well. Um, the circuit is very, 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 very front-endy. That's very front-endy, just in case you're unsure. So you need a good front end, you need a bike that you can trust um, that when you go through a corner on the brakes, um, it's not gonna wash out on you. So down the main straight into turn one, and we're looking for the end of the stand on the left-hand side, and the little path just there is almost your turning point. You want to turn in just before there and you want to trail a load of brake all the way through the corner, run out to the kerb and your apex is the kerb just further around the corner. That's where you want it today. Nice and tight, very tight into the kerb. You can see the black line on the track, the racing line, and we're going to get on the gas and then we're going to move back across to the right hand side of the circuit and then you tip in slash throttle off point because you don't really need to brake is the end of the coloured barrier on the right hand side again nice and tight to the kerb that kerb the end of that kerb is your tipping point to the next bit of the snake and the same again flick across again you want to be turning before you get to that kerb if you're turning at that kerb you're going to run wide balance the bike using a combination of throttle and brake flick it across to the right hand side <clears throat> and then we get to quite a tricky bit of track, Dunlop curve, run as far out to the right hand side as you can because you want to open up the next part of this corner. Treat it as one continuous corner all the way through turn seven, there's bumps, be careful of the bumps, and then Degna, horrible, horrible corner. Just before the 50 metre mark, you want to be on the brakes and moving the bike across to the right hand side, and you do not want to go over the curb. Go as tight as you want, but do not go over the curb. If you start going over the curb, in this corner horrible things happen all right i was just slightly on the wrong line there you're off you're into the gravel and then during the race itself i just run a bit tight smash the curb and it just fires us off straight away all right so you've got to avoid the curb through degna all right breaking point just before the end of the curb on the left hand side i'm a little bit too far across to the right there but it'll do through turn nine get on the gas stay across to the left hand side and then as you get to the end of the fence, telegraph pole on one side, end of the fence on the other, you want to be turning in just as you get there. As you hit the apex, hard on the brakes, hard. Go hard at this, be aggressive. Down the gearbox, let the engine brake in and the bike, just slide about a little bit, nice and tight, round the left-hander, out of the hairpin, and then away on the gas. Now, end of the barrier on the right-hand side, you want to be turning in at that point. And this corner tightens up, opens out and then tightens up again don't let the bike stand up keep it cranked over gentle movement on the stick you want to be straightening up at the end of the curb on the right hand side and then you want to be on the brakes really hard just before you get to the green astroturf paint on the right hand side again i'm a little bit late there i hadn't got the bike stood up quite enough and it kind of caught me out and then spoon curve turn 14 you want to stay nice and tight if you don't stay nice and tight in the races this happens you get absolutely dive bombed and you're off and you're into the barriers and it just ends up being a right mess if you're doing time attacks it's not really too bad you can run wide if you want but if you stay nice and tight you get a really nice exit out of turn 14 and then down the back straight the back straight itself isn't really straight and you want to be across on the right hand side before you start seeing the braking markers. Ignore the first one, we're not interested in that. All right, we're gonna go through that and then we're gonna turn in and brake just as we get to the second braking marker. Nice and tight to the kerb. You wanna be carrying anywhere, anything over 120 mile an hour through here is very, very, very good. All right, and then we're into the final chicane, the braking zone. So just past the 150 meter mark, hard on the brakes. You're gonna feel like you've broke way too early. You haven't. Aggressive on the first bit of the chicane, nice and tight to the kerb. Keep the bike across to the right because we're gonna straighten out the second bit. All right, so straighten it out, nice and tight, and then I'm gonna tell you to do something a bit weird. I'm gonna tell you to stay tight through the last corner. There's the racing line, but we wanna to be to the right of it, and we're aiming for that apex just as the barrier 
and the track kind of just merge and then we're across the line. And if you've done it properly and you've done it well, you'll earn yourself a nice little stoppy and then you can celebrate by going and checking the leaderboard and your fifth fastest ZX7R. Little bit of time to make up, but the SP1, that SP1's in a bit of a league of its own, all right? It's a fast track. You get some fantastic pictures from it as well. I know I mentioned it the other day. But set the time to 1700, set the time advancement to zero or one, and have a ride round and use the replay function with the cameras, um, the camera function, and you will just get some fantastic shots. You can process the images. It's just mega. I'm having a lot of fun with this at the minute. I mean, that is just... The sense of just speed and commitment is just mega. But yeah, there you go, Suzuka GP. Quite technical, a lot to think about. However, when you get it right, it is a really, really, really enjoyable track. And there's loads of endurance races there. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.